Hi, I'm Roger Bindle with a little bit on how to and why to use interactive HSL color wheels for finding opposite colors. I work on computers, so I'll be using the RGB model with red, green, blue for light emitting devices like TVs and computer screens. But there are other color models like CYMK and RYB for painters and printers using reflective surfaces. I'm using Affinity Photo, but HSL color wheels come with many other image editing programs. The 360 degree HSL ring, when divided into thirds, displays each of the primary colors with a hue or a color setting at 0 for red, 120 for green, and 240 for blue, completing the 360 degree circle. It's easy to find and visualize complementary colors because they're on the opposite sides of the ring. The opposite of red is a mixture of green and blue. The opposite of green being a mixture of blue and red. And the opposite of blue is a mix of mixture of red and green or yellow. And again, these are opposites, but they are the complementary colors. The ring also helped me understand the mixes of colors or secondary and tertiary colors. They're the colors in between. So again, all I do is rotate 360 degrees from the starting point and I find my opposite color, or complementary, I should say. Adding to this, the center triangle provides adjustments for saturation and lightness. So you can find the color that you really want, indicated in the upper right hand corner of the box, and again, rotate 360 degrees to find that slightly modified color, the complementary opposite color. And lastly, the color chooser provides numeric values for all of these colors. There are the RGB, the HSL, CMYK, and the hex number for RGB. If someone sends you the numeric values, you can change those values here and find the exact color that they may have sent to you. I hope this helps you as much as it did for me. The HSL color wheel works great for me. It's visual, interactive, and easy to understand. Subscribe to me on YouTube for more videos like this and some of the fun things I do.